Hi, I'm Russ Martin. Thanks for watching this week's Ads You Must See. We may be a full month away from Christmas, but the holiday marketing season is already upon us. This week on Ads You Must See, we're breaking down three holiday campaigns from three different markets. Our first spot takes us to France, where the cable service Canal Plus is revisiting Christmas 2014. The ad tells the story of a baby pig given as a gift last year who grew up to wreak havoc on a household. The ad's clever and lighthearted. There isn't a very strong connection to the product, but Canal Plus still deserves points for sidestepping those usual holiday tearjerker spots and delivering something witty and entertaining. Take a look. You're my very best friend. We're the perfect plan. It's you and I together, cause we're buddies forever till the bitter end. You always can't depend on me being right by your side. When the sky starts turning gray, you're always coming to push those arms away. It's always gonna be right in there. It's my very best friend. It's my very best friend. Next up, we're headed to the UK, where the electronics retailer Curry's just launched a new campaign featuring perennial pitchman Jeff Goldblum. Each of the five spots covers similar ground. A character gives a terrible gift, then Goldblum jumps in and tells everyone the proper way to act in the situation. The ads are endearing, and that's mostly thanks to the faithful charms of Goldblum, who's become a familiar face in Adland. In the past, the Hollywood star has appeared in ads for Apartments.com and General Electric, and we're betting more are on the way. Whatever Goldblum's selling, we'll take it. Ross, a secret Santa means that the identity of the gift giver is secret, hence the name. So I shouldn't be telling you this, uh, but I like you. That mug was given to you by your boss, and he's right here in this room with us, and he's over there, and he's watching you. Don't look. Don't look. Why did you look? Right, it was an impulse. Now you already may or may not know that you're on thin ice around here. Well, it's not important. What is important is that you try a little acting right now. Pretend that that NAF mug that you're holding is magically transformed into the new Google Chromecast. Wow, imagine all the entertainment you could stream with that. Thanks, Mr. Chillingsworth. Thanks. You're a wonderful man. And that's the opposite of secret. <laughs> and by the way, um, don't bother asking Alex Hardman out. That's, that's not going to work out. I'm so sorry. Last up, we have a content hit from Starbucks out of the U.S. Earlier this month, the coffee chain stirred up some unexpected controversy when it revealed its plain red holiday cup. Online, some Christians claimed that the brand was trying to distance itself from the religious holiday by not including any Christmas imagery, and they called for a boycott. Less than two weeks later, Starbucks has proven it's not afraid of the word Christmas. While other brands have opted for the word holiday, Starbucks calls its December specialty coffee the Christmas blend. And last week, it released a video about that coffee's creation, perhaps as a subtle nod to show its critics that the brand's Christmas marketing is here to stay. It comes in a shipment in the middle of the night when nobody's here, and it has a sticker on the front, don't open until a certain date. Um, and then finally that day comes, and it's like Christmas, but a couple months early. Hello and welcome to Pike Place Starbucks. We have the honor and privilege today of introducing and tasting for the very first time Christmas Blend Vintage 2015. That sweetness, that spice, that dark roasty flavor. 31st year of Christmas Blend. This is a coffee that's very personal for me. I was involved in year one. This year, I think what's different about Christmas Blend is the aged component really shows through in the cup. The coffee is an agricultural product, and so just like wine, the crop will change from year to year. It has always been uh, steeped in a blend of light and lively Latin American coffees. We have Asia Pacific coffees in there because they're sturdier, richer, more robust flavors. And then, you know, that secret element, 
that's not very secret anymore is the H. Sumatra component. That process, that three to five years minimum of, of the coffee literally sitting in a warehouse in that kind of hot, humid climate helps take it along that process. You take a, a, a spectacular aged Bordeaux wine um, and aged Sumatra, you will taste a thread of that earthiness. What's specifically different this year is we actually roast what we call a base, and then we will actually roast this individual coffee on a completely different curve to a completely different color and blend it back in. The flavors of Christmas blend are unique because they take elements from sweetness and from savory, and we can pair it with our dinner or we can have it with our great dessert. I thought this year's Christmas blend was amazing. It had a sweetness to it. It's got a nuttiness that I like, and it's got a spiciness, an earthiness. It's got lots of cedar to it. Everyone has an experience with this coffee. They can tell you where they were when they first had it, the celebration they took it to. For me, it was sort of that first time I was like, this is what good coffee is. So when I think about Christmas blend 2016 or 2017, part of the excitement is we don't really truly know just exactly what's going to be in the cup there because every year is, is just a little different. And I think that's part of the magic of, of the Christmas blend. For more insights into Canada's marketing industry, visit marketingmag.ca.